Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having another look at Angela Rayner. You know, the hypocrite. As it comes out, even though she's been slamming Matt Hancock over his affair, that there's a possibility, a possibility, it's not proven, but there is a possibility that she could have been doing the same. Now she's been very, very quiet on the nature of her relationship and this is with a married MP. Sounds very familiar this, doesn't it? I wonder why she kept it all very, 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 very quiet while she was the number one mouthpiece to try and get Matt Hancock sacked. Now, if you weren't aware, Angela Rayner is now being called a hypocrite and two-faced. Now, she isn't with her husband anymore. They are actually estranged. And the MP that she's accused of having close relationship with is Shadow Minister Sam Tarry. Now, Sam Tarry has been married for a decade. He's got two children, so this kid's getting hurt here again. And his marriage is now in crisis. I wonder why. Now, as you're probably aware, Angela Rayner and Labour were screaming for transparency in regards to Matt Hancock and Gina and their little affair. So I believe that Angela Rayner deserves the same response transparency we need to know whether she's been compromised just like we needed to know whether Matt Hancock was compromised whether he had or she had a conflict of interest all of these things need to be found out don't they now obviously she's taken high ground on all of this whilst effectively being in the same position or close to the same position so it's the height of hypocrisy again from Labour isn't it now I actually think that this has been leaked from the inside rather than it being found out by the, the sun because we all know that the media Media don't do investigative journalism anymore that's a thing of the past isn't it so they've probably got this from a whistleblower inside labor and it makes me think it's probably in response to Angela Rayner and her cronies shall we call them effectively saying to Starmer and all of his cronies if you lose Batley and Spen Angela Rayner's going to be the leader of Labour so I actually think it's a bit of a backstabby exercise but I'd like to know your, your opinion on that do you think it really matters what MPs are doing in regards to extramarital activities or do you think it could be like me nothing to do with that the thing that bothers me the most you see is I need to know whether they've been compromised from doing their job adequately whether it's a conflict of interest whether favours were given that wouldn't have normally been given through proper channels see it's that sort of thing the corruption side of it that i would like to know and if hancock has been effectively run out of his job so should she be in my honest opinion if she's been the same and been compromised but i'd like to know your opinion everyone let me know what you think height of hypocrisy isn't it to to have a go at someone for having an affair whilst staying quiet about a possible affair of your own pot calling isn't it pot calling if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the like comment subscribe hit the bell icon share it out everyone let's shame angela rayner the same as she and her cronies and left waffers all shamed matt hancock what's good for the goose is good for the gander they should all be held to the same exactly the same rules regulations and laws just like everybody else in the country should i say should we're not our but should <laughs> stay sane everyone i'll see you on the next one and I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration.